And at long last, the Barker mill is finally slotting screws. And uh, it's working pretty good. Cut a slot, release a screw, grab another screw, and let the collet forward again, push it back. That kind of blows the chips out. Put a new screw in, close the collet, slot the screw. Rinse and repeat. Working pretty good. There's a few things left yet to do. I'd like to fill the fill the splits in the collet with some uh, O-ring material and try to channel that air blast into the center of the collet, hopefully blowing the screw out into the catch tray. Uh, there's not enough air pressure to do that right now. It does blow some of the chips away, which is nice. That was its sec intended secondary purpose. But uh, yeah, there's still some there. You gotta wipe with your finger a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting a real nice slot in the screws. I'll show you one here. Getting a real nice slot in the screw. It's centered. It's equal depth. Or I should say equal width. Side to side. Equal depth on both ends and uh, it's just doing a real good job so far I'll drop in some stills of the machine when I first got it Uh, you have your, I guess that would be, uh, what would that be? That would be x-axis, I'd call it. And then you got a y-axis lever over here, which moves the table in and out from the head. And then there's a z-axis here, which moves the head up and down. And, uh... When I got this machine, it was a mess. Um, spent a lot of time putting it back together. Added some coolant to it. Uh, added an air-operated chuck, as you can see. Um, it's just a little on-off switch there. Uh, the third line comes over here and blasts air into the, well, I'm using it to blast air into the back of the collet to hopefully eventually push the screw out but it also pushes chips out um, helps to keep the collet clear uh, that's the closer line and then of course there's a feed line that comes in here I had to put a, a little regulator uh, regulator dryer on there and the on off switch there that is actually for the uh, for the oil or coolant and then uh, I also put um, 
when I wired it for power, I put a um, an outlet on there so that it's easier just to unplug the machine if I ever need to remove the machine. It's nice and easy to do. I don't have to unwire it from a hardwired box. And then the other the other end goes down here in the cabinet to the coolant reservoir and pump. And that also I put a, a plug end on that such that I can unplug it, pull that out of there and uh, clean the chips real easy. And there's a little bit of storage space up here. The cabinet was pretty disgusting. Well the whole machine was disgusting but the cabinet's almost unrecognizable from when I first got it. Um, I had it baked in an oven to remove all the paint. Then I had it uh, um, powder coated so it came out real nice and uh, let's see the oil runs from the pump up to the head here and it has one of those little line lock type feeds on it um, another thing I did was I took the quarter 28 screws that were all of the the gib blocks and I found the smallest um, I don't know what these are called um, twist handles I don't know what they'd be called. Got them on McMaster car, and uh, this makes um, releasing the the gibs and tightening them back down a whole lot easier. You don't need a screwdriver. And then I just put a big bolt in the front here as a stop uh, for the y-axis. I had the motor rebuilt at a local shop. Um, the pulleys were a mess. This pulley is one of the originals, and it doesn't run very true. I'd like to replace it at some point. It is a bit wobbly. Um, had to get a new pulley for the front. Um, this is one of the reduced speed machines. Not all of the Barker Mills had the, the intermediate pulley there, so I was kind of lucky to get this one. Uh, that intermediate pulley gets me down to about um, 190 to 200 RPM uh, which is right where I want to be for slotting those screws um, there's a little depth stop here for the what I'm calling the Z axis all in all I'm pretty happy with uh, how the machine's running so far okay over here on the bench I have my disc mic set up so I can make sure I'm getting my slot centered. So I got about 0 .101 and 101 and a half, something like that. Less than uh, less than a half a thou, which is plenty good. And then I'm just using calipers. To take a real quick measurement and make sure I have the same depth you know on each side of the screw that's working out really well and I'm just using a plastic bin that I cut up uh, from McMaster with some magnets on it as the catch bin this keeps the oil from you know traditionally the oil would just spill all over the top of the cabinet like that right there when the uh, drain for the little tub comes out but yeah this keeps it somewhat contained the pad for mounting the collet closer is just a big 2x4 hunk of aluminum and that worked out great now that the Barker mill is up and running I'm that much closer to having my custom hardened flintlock screw kits out so uh, be watching for those in the very near future here and uh, with that, I'll sign off for now. Back to work.